everybody welcome to Wales I'm back in the garden of Betty and Peter which I always visit to every time I'm in Wales and it's such a beautiful start to my holiday here well I have four, five holidays cancelled this year but this will make do for what I have missed because you know what I love the beauty of North Wales and here in Upper Galley there are castles and there are some lovely sandy beaches to <laughs> sandy pebble beaches to walk about and not only that they've got many beautiful parks and I think driving around is just one of those most amazing things that I love doing here in Wales so welcome to Betty's garden and I hope that you are having such a lovely time because even if the Sun is not out today I'm just happy so come join me as we explore the beauty of North Wales right here with yours truly just the cat Meow. It's always a great welcoming retreat to see this beautiful garden. In their previous home, they already have a beautiful garden which goes up to the hill and you get to see the whole fantastic view of some areas of Wales. But this one is absolutely stunning. The colors and of course the different kinds of varieties of plants in here make this garden totally amazing. I always admire country gardens because of its amazing natural beauty and they also added some vegetable patches in here where you can harvest at the end of the season and it's just amazing that they made it truly a wonderful garden in this garden too you can hear different kinds of birds see them fly around and of course the other wildlife that surrounds because of the way how they planted and presented things here and look at these crab apples And then, as you cross over to the other side, well, you will be able to see the plant which I always wanted to have in our garden. The grapevine. Just look at that. Just can't wait to have our own very soon. So, this beautiful garden is an inspiration that will give you an idea on how to make your garden a place for wildlife to enjoy. Welcome to North Wales. The rain has arrived, but here I am. That is Cornwy Castle, and I'm just about to walk in the very rainy day here, exploring North Wales in a rainy summer, but it doesn't matter. I'll take you around. You may not hear my voice as the cars descend here. I'm just finding a little bit of a shade from the rain, but and nevertheless, I'll show you the best parts of Cornwy in whatever way I can. Catch you in a bit! <laughs> I look at you, you make me blind Why do you have to be so beautiful all the time? I know I can't be with you It's killing me to see you with someone else What to do? Now I'm in the corner Watching you smile Watching you smile Hello everybody, I'm back here in the Gurig Castle. Well, I was here last year and it was sunny. And this year, it's rained down. But the good thing about it is this year, this will be the site of the next I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here happening in this wonderful castle. So I'm so excited to be back here a year after. Well, last year had a very summery haircut. Now my hair has grown. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited because I'm here to take you to this wonderful castle and have another go of how to explore this this time around. Kay basi bala magkuring bingit kamu. Pero subong bala na kajogging pants na ko kay nga a. Gusto ko ma-explore kasi in a different light right here. Welcome everybody to Gurry Castle here in Abergelly in North Wales. Mwa. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's 
Welcome to the beautiful garden right here in Upper Galley. And when I came here last year, it was beautiful sunny day. But never mind because I still get to enjoy the colors that they have in here. And I'm so excited. I hope the fountains are going to be working. You still get to see the views of the sea out there. And of course the fountain. But last year, this garden wasn't open yet. And right now. It's full of magnificent colors. And I'm just so excited that I'm back here again a year after with a different hairstyle. <laughs> Trying to rock my world right here in the fantastic Gori Castle. I think I am the lost prince. <laughs> am I? <laughs> well, you'll only get to know once you get to listen to my story of my adventure here. Hello, everybody! Well, that's been an exciting adventure here in Gori Castle. Quite rainy, but I still loved it. And I'm just loving my time here. See you, everybody. And until my next castle adventure, wherever that may be in the world. Closing in here on a time of quarantine here in North Wales. On my first holiday since the lockdown. When you get to be in a spot like this, what more can you say? You just feel so happy. And I feel that this is such a beautiful spot to get lost. And being lost here is truly magnificent. And look at that. It reminded me when I was in Mostar years ago. And then, you know, that circular part of the bridge and the water. It's just an amazing view. And it's just so good that, you know what, when you discover driving to the country later and you get into this spot, it's truly magnificent. And I'm so blessed I got here. I almost get into the water. There you go. You can see here in North Wales and the skies and the views, just amazing. I love it here. Mwah. This is really one cool spot to have a stop over in my driving around this part of North Wales and I really enjoy it you know what the countryside are amazing and then I got to be in this particular spot in the middle of nowhere and it's just a beautiful discovery I think when you drive you just have to go with the flow and then you are driven to this beautiful spot unexpectedly and I really love this adventure it's so Matieka and look behind me it's a little kind of a village which is just pretty in many ways and I love villages with bridges because it's just really so cute and me being lost here is one of those most amazing moments in my life to have that sense of peace right here in the beautiful North Wales. So hello, hello, Shade and Danica, we are doing our crabbing and look we managed to get, where's the crab? We got managed to get one crab. Yeah, the little crab. Ah, let me touch it. There, you can see the little crab. Oh, it's coming down, Shanae. There. there, you can see the crab. Ah, come on, come on. That's so good. Tarika, do you like crabbing here in Wales? But we're so lucky because we managed to get some crabs. So. <laughs> well, earlier they're so scared of what we call wasps. Now we're just gonna enjoy the crabs. But I, I hate the tiny little crabs. I want them to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> so here we go. This is how we do our crabbing. We have to feed them with bacon. Here. This is the bait. And this is the weight. And then you throw them into the sea <laughs> and then you just have to wait that the crab gets to cling in that bait of bacon and then when you have one you get to catch it where is it there's one we managed to catch one crab we had two earlier but Danica said they were fighting <laughs> let's see come on crabs <laughs> Ah, no crabs yet! 
I hate those seagulls. They want to eat the bacon. <laughs> Another crab. Then he got a big one, but it cut away. The crab that got away here in where are we in real in North Wales. Yeah, look at my bait. Ah, it's a bacon bait, but no crab yet. <laughs> I've got one crab still swimming in here. It's so exciting. Yay! We got one crab! Look at that! A bigger crab this time! Let me see... <laughs> it is a bigger crab! Oh. Can you see the crab? There! It's crawling! Well done to Shanae who got the crab! <laughs> what about you Danica? So we all managed to get a crab each! But here, let me just touch the crab! There! There's the crab! Crabbing here in North Wales! It's amazing. Let me kiss the crab. <laughs> Hello, here I am in Carnarvon and that's a very famous castle where Prince Charles had his investiture as Prince of Wales. You know what, I always love coming here but this time of the year on a lockdown, my god, it's so cold. I normally come here on a sunny day because it's still summer but despite that you will see how that imposing castle is a very important part of the English history and to Prince Charles it will always be very important to his lifetime because that's where he was crowned as Prince of Wales and then when you see this lovely boat in here by the sea it's really lovely just the angle sea and every time I come in here it's always fascinating because you've got the view of the castle you've got the view of those Tudor buildings and then as you walk around here there's a little marina with the boats and then think of it as a buzzing place in the summer. It really is fascinating. That's why I really love coming in here because every time I'm here, I just enjoy the atmosphere. And now, look at this in an open sea. You get to see the swans. I don't know whether you can see them. There they are, the swans. I don't know, let me just put them closer for you to see them. There you go. The swans and there's a boatman getting into this bridge. And I don't know whether they need to open the bridge or what, and I need to go away. <laughs> oh my god, yes, they need to open the bridge, guys. So I have to be away. <laughs> now, I've got to be walking in there, and it's just amazing. People are having, you know those people there? They're having, they're doing some crabbing. I did an activity today with my friends crabbing in here. Not in here, rather, in the other side, in real. And it's really fascinating. There you go! I was in the middle of that bridge where they're waiting for me to get over because I was causing traffic jam. <laughs> well, it's a lovely time here in Carnarvon. I had to go inside because the castle is still closed. i blowing my hair. But nevertheless, it's such a lovely, lovely time. We'll catch you later right here in the lovely town of Carnarvon in North Wales with a castle behind me right there so thank you so much for following my little adventure here and a short visit here on a very kind of a drizzling day not soaked yet but i'm just happy to be here catch you later everyone and lots of love Mwah. i was there earlier and now they are moving that bridge <laughs> how fascinating For that little boatman to go through while well, the people on the side are still doing some crabbing. Hello! Finally, it has always been my dream to walk on this bridge, the Menai Bridge here in North Wales. And I'm so excited that I managed to find a little parking in a pub the bottom of this bridge and now I'm walking on it although I've got I'm so scared I don't want to look into the sea because of my fear of heights but I'm so daring here I am I made it to the Benai <laughs> but if you just know how I'm feeling inside 
I don't want to look down but I just want to have that kind of a feeling that I conquered my fears and I got here yes I'm really so scared now there's another bridge down the other end it's the other Manai oh, oh my word oh my god it's as if the sea is coming towards me Arr! let me just sit down and hold and take you to the view from here isn't it amazing and the boats are there in Anglesey here in North Wales I finally made it to the Menai <laughs> I feel so happy today I can't believe it Mwah. to the other side I was so scared but this I get to the other side and get to show you some parts of this lovely place here the very famous Menai bridge and the wind thank you still a social distancing I managed to see this part I've always been wanting to be on this bridge for such a long time and I'm so glad I made it I'm really happy and I'm so happy that here I am finally I can say I've conquered this place and thank you all for following my adventure here in North Wales. It's amazing! <laughs> I love it! Mwah! Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life So happy that I found you I'm paper thin I haven't always been this shy But haven't felt this in a while now So sad when we are apart If you leave you break my heart I need you To need me too Stay with me when it's getting dark I want you to want me to Why is it so hard to just be honest? Why is it so hard to speak the truth? Why is it so hard to just be honest when I want this? Maybe you want it too So I just need to tell Thank you for joining me in this little adventure in North Wales and I shall see you in my next adventure and continue to live life and be happy. Yes, the cat.